Hi guys, hope you're well. Um, just to give you an insight into what we're doing, uh, my name is Tony, I'm from the Kickstart Academy, uh, the KSA Group, and we're looking to do a series of PE lessons um, for children at home. Um, and today, we are really excited, this is our first one, um, and it's going to be gymnastics for year groups three and four. Um, so if your child is between seven, eight and nine, this is designed for them. Um, it's a basic, simple, really fun uh, session of half an hour of gymnastics. Um, and as you can see on our board, uh, we've got a, a series of topics that we're going to do today. We've got balances and travelling. Um, so we're going to be hitting certain balances. We're going to do one, two, three and four point balances. Um, we're also going to be looking at travelling as well, different ways of travelling. Um, every single lesson that we do will have this board out. Um, it is an interactive lesson, so if you want to film your own children doing the session, please come along, please uh, send your videos in. Um, this is a series of four gymnastics uh, lessons for three and four. At the end of the three and four um, gymnastics, we're looking at doing um, like a little bit of a, a, a prize competition. Um, so please send your videos in. If you've got any questions as well about the gymnastics, please let us know also as well. Okay, so as I said, it's a gymnastics of three and four. The topic is balance and travelling and variations of balance and travelling. Today, equipment, all we're going to use is a small space. Um, because we are in the times where we're working from home, um, we are looking to do all of our PE at home using household essentials, basically. The lesson's going to be half an hour um, and we're going to be travelling and balancing today. So some key words that we're looking to do today. So the children involved, we're looking to use a lot of key words to do, do gymnastics. So we've got one, two, three and four point balances. We've got ways to travel, different ways to travel around. We've got transfer, so transfer of weight. We've got a wide, we've got slow, we've got small, we've got control, strength, movement, tall, weight. So those are the kind of key words we're going to be using during today's session. And today we've got Cody. Cody, who's my son, who's eight years old. Um, he will be helping us out. So, Cody, come in here, come and say hello. hello. <laughs> okay. So, are we all happy? Are we all good to go? All right then. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, so we're going to be working with Cody today. And all I'm going to be doing is teaching coding at the same time, giving you lots of instructions for your children so your children can then interact with the PE lesson. OK, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a quick warm up. It's going to be a, 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 a quite an energetic, fast warm up to get the heart rate uh, pumping. OK, code, so can we jump on the spot? OK, a bit higher. Good. And can we now jog on the spot? Keep going, just jog on the spot, can we go a bit faster? Okay, and back to a jump. Are we doing this at home as well? Are we doing a good one up at home? Okay, big jumps. And now we're gonna go a bit faster, running on the spot. A bit faster. Good. And stop. Is your heart rate pumping now? Okay, now we're gonna do some star jumps. Okay, off you go with star jumps. Good. Faster and slow and fast and stop. Well done. Okay, this time we're going to go knees up. We're going to go really hard your knees, but we're going to jump. Okay, off you go. And we get on at home. Is it a good warm up? Okay, can we go higher? Can we drive them arms? You like you saying bolt running? Good. And stop. As your heart rate is fast. Yeah. Okay, so now we should be in a position where you, the heart rate is pumping really fast. We're getting a little bit warm now, which is brilliant. This is part of the warm up. Okay, but now I want you to sprint on the spot for 10 seconds. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. Eight, nine, and stop. Well done. Right. That's that quick warm up done now. So we're now going to go into our topic. So our topic of balances and traveling. Okay, so we're going to look at balances to start off with. And we're going to work on one, two, three, and four point balances. Okay, to start off with then, I want to see a one point balance. Does anybody know at home what a one point balance is? 
Has anybody done a one point balance at school? What is a one point balance? Cody, what's a one point balance? Okay, so one point balance is using one body part touching the floor at one time. Okay, so nice and simple, a one point balance could be. Okay, so we're going to use the foot to start off with a one point balance. Okay, do that again, Code. Okay, and all he's doing is trying to keep his body nice and still. Okay, do that again for me, Code. Okay, now if you are struggling to balance for five seconds, what I want you to do is use your aeroplane arms. I always call them aeroplane arms because like an aeroplane, an aeroplane glides with their wings. Okay, so can you put your aeroplane wings out? Okay, so now automatically with his one point balance, he's using his arms to help him balance. Okay, do that again for me, Code. Can you hold that for five seconds? Four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Did you see how good he was with his aeroplane arms? Okay, so now if that was too easy for you, we're going to try and use the balance for five seconds, but with no arms. Okay, so can we do that with no arms? Arms by your side and balance. Keep going. Three, four, five. Good. Okay. Now, if you are finding this difficult and you can't balance for five seconds, what I want you to do is try and balance for three seconds. Okay. So, in three seconds. So, can we do it for three seconds? One, two, three. Okay. Well done. So, that's a one point balance. Okay. How are we getting on at home? You can interact with me as well. You can send messages. Uh, you can comment on this as well. Um, how they're getting on, take photos as well, take pictures of your children doing it. So that's your one point balance. Okay, so we're now a two point balance. Now, nice and simple, a two point balance is what Cody's doing. But we don't want to make it that easy. We want to make it a difficult with a two point balance. Okay, so can we do a two point balance? Okay, so can you see that? So two body parts are touching the floor. So as you can see, he's got his foot and his hand to make a two balance, okay? So now can you do that for me and hold that for five seconds? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, well done. How are we getting on at home? So two point balance for five seconds. Okay, if you're finding it difficult, do it for three seconds. Once you do it for three seconds, can you do then do it for five seconds? If you're finding it really easy, try and do it for 10 seconds, okay? Hold your balance and control for 10 seconds. Okay, so now we've done a one and we've done a two point balance. So what's next? Three point balance, okay? So three body parts on the floor. Brilliant, okay? So as you can see, three body parts on the floor. We've got two feet and one hand, okay? Now, how are we going at home? Can we do a three-point balance? Can you do a three-point balance for five seconds? One, two, three, four, five. Well done. It's really important that when we do balances or children do balances that they hold their posture, okay? So as we do with our one point balance, where we use our airplane arms, it's to stabilize the body, okay? If the body is too overweight in, in certain areas, it will topple. So it has to be a nice, even balance. And that's where we go to the next set of gymnastics where we look at counterbalances and weight and transfer, okay? So do that again for me, three point balance for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's up for me. What body muscles are you using to be in that position? Oh, my arms. Arms, okay, so there's a lot of weight on the arms. What else? And, my legs. and there's a lot of weight in tra being transferred to the legs, okay? What about your stomach? What happens to your stomach? Uh, Do you tense? Yeah. Okay, so you will find when you are using different parts of the body, certain stom stomach muscles, for example, will, will come into play. They'll then be used to try and counteract any balance. Okay, how are we getting on at home? Three point balances. Doing okay? Right, so we're now looking at four point balance. So what, give me a four point balance. Brilliant, okay. So as you can see, can you turn around? There you go. So as you can see, a four point balance, we've got two hands and two feet, okay? Can you show me a different way of doing a four point balance? 
What other ways can we use with a four point balance? So you've done hands, you've done your feet, what else can we do? Head. You could do your head, you could do knees, elbows, any, any body part that's on the floor. Okay, so now we've changed it from two feet to two hands, to two knees, to two elbows. Okay, it's still a four point balance and it's still been hitting on the floor, which is what we need. Okay, you can hold that for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well done. Okay, same again. If you're finding it really difficult, do it for two or three seconds. If you're finding it really easy, see if you can hold it for 10 seconds. See if you can think of a different way of doing a four point balance. What other body parts can we use to do a four point balance? Okay, brilliant. So we're going to quickly run through those again. So a one point balance. Brilliant. And a two point balance. Brilliant. And a three point balance. Good. And a four point balance. Is there any way so we can see? Brilliant. Okay. Right, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to practice your one, two, and three four point balances, okay? And I want, I want to see some good interaction as well, okay? How are we getting on? Yes, Liz, I'm trying to work in really hard with the score being off. Hope you're well. Hope Nathan's okay as well. Hope Nathan's doing this session as well. I want to see some pictures. I want to see some videos. Okay, then. So now you've done your point balances. Brilliant. Okay, nice and simple. So you can keep practicing those point balances. So when you do go back to school, you've got ahead, you're ahead of the game with everybody else because you've done some PE gymnastics. Okay, so we've done that. We're now looking at some traveling. So there's different ways to travel in life, isn't that? When you go to school, how do you travel to school? Walk, run, walking bus, a bus, taxi, parents' car. So there's different ways to travel, okay? Do you do for, uh, forward rolls to school? So I, I know sometimes when we do P lessons and we, we ask this question, lots of children say they do handstands and forward rolls to school, so fantastic, okay? So there's different ways to travel in gymnastics as well, okay? And we're gonna look at some gymnastics routine now where it comes to traveling, okay? So we're gonna put this into a sequence in four lessons time, we're gonna put this into a big sequence and then we can look at uh, an end of, end of term presentation as you like, okay? And like I said at the start, there's a prize at the end of it for the best gymnastics session, okay? So traveling, how can we travel around? So only using the space that you've got at home, we're just gonna be traveling around, okay? So how are we gonna travel? What, what, give me one way of traveling. Okay, so jumping, that's a part of gymnastics, which is good. What other way have we got? How else can we travel? Jockey. Jockey, okay, next one. Can we hop using one foot? Okay, so he's moving around, hopping. What else can we do? Don't always have to be standing up. Can you do a forward roll? Can you do a roll? Brilliant, forward roll. Okay, what else have we got? Can you roll across the floor? Can you do a teddy bear roll? There we go. So, there's different ways to travel across, okay? And that's what we use in gymnastics with PE. We do different variations of traveling. And what we do, in a normal PE lesson, we've got so many equipment out, we've got big mats, we use a hall, um, so children get to utilise all the equipment going around, okay, like, like a mini circuit. Um, and like I said at the start, we're looking to do a, a bit of a course with it, so at the end of the four weeks, they've got great knowledge on gymnastics in terms of travelling, in terms of movements, in terms of balances, and hopefully they've improved for when they do go back to school, okay? Right, so we're going to look at some ways of travelling. So all we're going to do is just going to be skipping around the room, Okay, all you've got to do that is skip it. Ready? Go. Skip. That's it, nice and simple. Okay, so we've got some skipping going on, all right? And then we're going to do some hopping on one foot. Brilliant. Okay, 
Really, really good. Okay, and we do a roll again on the floor. Oh, forward roll. Who can do a forward roll at home? Be really impressed if you can do a forward roll. Okay, so three or four different variations of travelling. Okay, what else have you got? What else can you do at home that can consist of travelling? How can we travel across the floor? Okay, remember at home, okay, we haven't got the big gymnastics play frames out, and we've certainly got lampshades, so please be careful if you're going to do some jumping around as well. Okay, so what have you got else, else you got at home? What else can you do? What else can you do in terms of travelling? Skipping, hopping, jumping, running. What else can we do? Slide. Okay, that's going to be difficult to slide on the carpet, but if you've got benches, like wooden benches at school, we tend to get the children to lie on the benches and slide using their arms. Okay, it's always about movement. All right, so Co, I want you to try and think about having a bench there. I want you to use your arms to just travel across the floor, keep it on a bench. Okay. So flat, that's it, like a snake. Okay, and then you're going to use your arms to pull. There we go. So we're using different ways of, of traveling, okay? Brilliant. Right. Fantastic. Really, really good so far. How are we getting on at home? Yes, Sam, we can skip. It's a part of gymnastics. He's skipping, rolling, jumping, hopping. All a part of gymnastics. Okay. So in this short space for time of 20 minutes, we've got about six or seven minutes left. We've done some point balances and some traveling. Okay, and that's two things we're going to use in our sequence in four sessions time. Okay, so code, come and stand here for me. Okay, so point balances. What point balances have we got? One, two, yeah, three, yeah, four. brilliant. Okay, so point balances. We've got one, two, three, four. Nice and simple. Okay, and what variations of ways of traveling have we got? Um, rolling. rolling. Forward roll, forward roll skipping, skipping hopping. hopping, some good answers. What else can we do? You say running? Yeah, running. Running, jumping. Yeah. Okay, so lots of variations, all right? So what I'm going to get Kobe to do now, and the children at home, okay, is to work on now a mini sequence. Can we do a one? a two, a three, and a four point balance, and ways of traveling in a, in a mini sequence. Okay, because we're gonna put that together in a, in a four part sequence in, in four sessions time. Okay, so Cody, can you do, okay, well, let's take your time, nice and slow. I want you to do a one, a two, and a three, and a four point balance, and also I want you to do some ways of traveling. And can we put that into a sequence using this area here? Okay, children at home, same with you guys. I want you to do a sequence for me. Okay, think of one, two, three, or four, and the ways of traveling. Think of the space that you've got as well. Okay, some children have lots of space to use. Some children only have a small space to use. Okay, think about the space around you and think about what you're going to do, how you're going to put your point balances in and how the way you're going to travel around. Okay, and please be careful. Watch out for the lampshades as well, all right? Okay, Cody, you've got one minute. One or two minutes now to show me, nice and slow, what we've just been learning, okay, about one, two, three, or four point balances and the ways you travel, okay? Off we go. How are we going to do it? Okay, so you've got a one point balance. I'm going to talk you through it, guys. A two point balance. Now you can use this in different ways. You could do a one point balance to start off with into hopping, okay, into a two point balance. You can do it in different ways. Okay, so guys, same at home, you can mix it up as well, it doesn't all have to be in the same in order. You can do a one point balance to start off with into a skip, you can then do a four point balance if you want to, it's just got to be in a sequence. Okay, right, okay, one point balance into a skip, into a hop, brilliant. What else can we do after that? You can do it in any order, any order at all. Well done, keep going. It's really important as well, guys at home, it's, it's nice and slow, okay? When we're in school, when we do an end of term presentation of gymnastics, lots of children tend to want to rush through it just to get it out of the way. And what we do as coaches, we want to have the full control of their routine, okay? So if it's done nice and slow, they get extra marks. If they're racing around, it might be down to nerves, 
but we, we tend to mark them less. So we want to see control. We want to make sure that they're, they're in full control of their, of their routine. Okay, keep going, Code. Okay, three-point balance. How are we getting on at home? How are we getting on? Keep going. Okay, four-point balance. Think of some ways of trapping as well. Can we add those, the balances? Can we mix it up a little bit? What else can we do? Skip, okay. Well done. What else can we do? Think, try and link them all together, put them in a sequence. If it's going to skip, what else can we do at the end of the skip? Can we do a plant balance? Can you go do the way of travelling? Good. How can we link that balance into a bit of a travelling? So put, put, yourself, put yourself back in that position. Okay, you're in that position now. How can we now travel? In that position, you could do a crab, couldn't you? You could travel like a crab. The other way. So on your, on your point balance, okay, you can move like a crab. So you can move your feet, move your leg like that. Put your foot down. That's it, and move. There we go. So it's all about linking them all together okay and getting people get you to think about how can i link a point balance into traveling can i do two point balances into two traveling do i have to do traveling first into a point balance get them to think about a routine okay okay 30 more seconds encode 30 more seconds because we house because we house how can we travel around how can we do a point balance Four point balance. Four point balance. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well done. So you've just done, Cody's just done a four point balance into a roll. Okay. That's how I want people to link it. Okay. Keep going. Brilliant. Okay. So that's a, that's a two. And it's a two point balance and you're traveling as well. Okay. Can we do a forward roll into a stand into a one point balance? Okay. So forward roll into a balance. Brilliant. Okay, well done. How are we getting at home? Okay, I've seen some good interactions already so far. Well done. Okay, we're nearly at the end of the lesson. Okay, I knew it would go pretty quick. All right. So if you've got any questions so far about the, about the lesson itself um, and the learning topic, please let me know drop me a message. Um, if you've got any videos as well of your children doing it, fantastic. Send them over. If we can share them on Facebook, even better, and get people liking, uh, liking the videos. Because we want, essentially, we want children to learn. Um, there's lots of fitness uh, live uh, streams at the moment that, um, that I don't think are PE essential. Um, that's the whole reason why we're doing PE. We want children to learn about PE still. Uh, we want to get them, their brain engaged. Um, Essentially, because when they go back to school, we want them to have confidence in gymnastics. And when they get told what or asked about what's a point balance, they know straight away. And they can confidently put their hands up and say, yes, I know what the point balance is or I know what travelling is. OK, so just to go back to the post. OK. Lauren has been practicing bless. Fantastic, Lauren. I want to see some videos as well. Okay, I want to see you do some good work. All right. So today we've been doing some balances and traveling. Okay. We've used a small space. We've around about half an hour. And what we tend to do at the end of the lesson, um, as, as teachers, PE teachers should do, is give an answer, questions and answers to children about the lesson because it gives me confidence then knowing that the next lesson they've got, that, that, that they know what they've done. Okay. Um, if I feel that the, the children haven't learned, then it's always good to sort of like replicate that lesson again. OK, um, it's really important that the children are confident and competent in the gymnastics. OK, and all the key words um, and the gymnastics topics. And, that, and that's with PE as a whole. You now, as teachers, we want them to be confident in, in what they know. OK, so today we've been doing some traveling. We did some balances. OK, we've used some of the key words. Okay, like I said, if there's any questions about the lesson, please let me know. Um, it'd be really, really good to get an insight into how people are getting on at home. 
Um, and there is a prize, after four lessons, there is a prize for the best video, the best sequence, okay? I'm gonna quickly turn this around, okay? So the goal is, okay, I think you can just barely see it, I've, I've just put my hand marks all over it, it's fantastic. So the goal is essentially in four weeks time is to have a sequence, okay, to like a mini performance, all right? And what essentially I want them to do in four weeks is to perform a sequence with different variations of gymnastics, okay? And these gymnastics variations will happen over the next three or four lessons. So during the fourth one, the fourth mini performance, they should be confident in delivering certain aspects of gymnastics, okay? Using all the keywords, and as a gymnastics teacher, I can then be able to look at their, their performance and tick off the criteria, and especially with the keywords as well. Are they using certain keywords as well? Okay, like I said, there's a prize at the end of it as well. Okay, so we are at the end of the lesson. I really thank you very much for, for listening. Um, I hope the children have learned a lot. I hope they're practicing. And the homework for children, homework is to keep practicing. Okay, so if it's not now, if it's tomorrow, the next day, Keep practicing your traveling and your your, uh, your point balances and let me see your practices, okay? Dawn, what is the prize? Okay, the prize will be, oh, what could it be? I will give a four-week school holiday provision when we're back, of course. I'll give a four-week school holiday provision for the winning um, performance, okay? And when, I'm, when I mean winning, it's not about who's the best. It's, a, it's from my point of view, it's looking at, who's been able to do it, okay? It's all about resistance. Some children might not like gymnastics, um, but they, you know, they resist, they, they want to persevere and continue to do it, okay? That, that, in my eyes, gets extra marks, okay? I'm not looking for the gifted and talented who's fantastic at gymnastics. I wanna see children persevere and have res resilience to try it, want to try it, okay? That goes a long way with me, rather than having a gifted and talented child who's amazing at it and gets all the medals, okay? So, that's all for me. Thank you very much for watching uh, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.